Here we are backstage at Survivor Series where Austin Theory has just picked up that title for the second time. Uh, how, how was it tonight? Uh, it was a lot of emotions, I'd say. Uh, being out there, you know, all the fans of Boston, Massachusetts going crazy. And, you know, being in the ring with Seth freaking Rollins, being in there with Bobby Lashley, two names that are so well known in the WWE and me, you know, on the come up of, you know, going to be one of those top guys. This right here just puts that next stamp on that for me and moves me up that ladder. So it's, uh, man, it's, it just kind of blows my mind that I'm a two-time United States champion. That's, that's awesome. It hasn't all been easy, though. In the last few weeks, obviously, we've seen a huge shift in your personality, in your character, everything like that. How has that been for you personally? Because there's clearly been some adjustments. Yeah, I'd say uh, it's as wild a, as it has been for everybody else. You know, you go from being so used to something to a quick switch and pretty much that quick switch changes everything. But for a good way, I feel like, because for me, uh, it, it was a chance for Austin Theory to evolve and go to that next level. And, you know, I, I can't take selfies forever and be a goofball. So it's like finding that next chapter and, and what's going to get me to becoming a world champion. And I think we're on the right track. And you can tell from the crowd reaction out there, they're invested, they're in on it. And a lot of people have spoken that maybe opportunity has been handed to you and taken credit away from you, perhaps. Do you feel like you're vindicating people now? Vindicating yourself, sorry. I feel like now a lot of people are more so because they're realizing, you know, oh, wow, this guy's stepping in the ring with Seth Rollins. This guy's stepping in the ring with Bobby Lashley. Let's look a little more into him. And now that they're doing that, they're seeing my past. They're seeing the work ethic. They're seeing that I've been working at this since I was 12 years old and looking for every single way to get to the top, whether it was, you know, a bodybuilding show, trying to get noticed by WWE, you know, just working my way through the independent circuit of doing shows that I get paid nothing of, you know, or going to a hotel and sleeping on the floor, you know, because you can't afford to, you know, you're sharing it with a bunch of people and just that climb of all of that and that grind of like knowing that you can see it when nobody else does. And that's that's where I've gotten myself. And especially here, I seen it. I didn't see the detail. I didn't see the money in the bank. I didn't see the two, you know, time United States champion, but I knew I'd be here and I knew I'd be great. How was the cash in for you and, and, and losing out on that opportunity? How was that emotionally for you? Well, I'd have to say, you know, growing up watching the Money in the Bank matches were exciting and watching the cash ins were exciting. But I'd have to say, uh, you know, I never thought I'd have the Feld cash in, but I guess I would be one of those guys. But I would say for me, that whole process of, you know, that day of losing the Money in the Bank contract and kind of where do I go now? You know, I have nothing. I'm literally hit rock bottom. So what now? And kind of just to have this revamp of a personality and bring out this different type of energy that people aren't used to from Austin Theory, it kind of just shifts everything. And for me, it's, it's great. And looking at it long term, it can only evolve and get better from here. Have you felt yourself step up a level since then? It's only a short time ago, but have you felt the change? Absolutely. And I'd say with that stepping up, I feel the pressure of it. But I feel like that pressure I thrive in. And that's what always keeps me, you know, on my toes. And that's what keeps me going and really improving to get to that next level. And speaking of thriving in pressure, the second last match of the night on one of the big four pay-per-views, notoriously an incredibly difficult spot to be in in the night. And you got people singing, this is awesome. You got the internet exploding saying, what a great match that was. You must be really pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. And, you know, I'll keep going. Like I say all day, that's not just a moniker. That's something I live by. Continuing, showing up when you're hurt. You know, when you don't feel like doing something, always showing up, doing it all day, doing it the best, showing everybody that you got what it takes. There we go. Austin Theory, the new U.S. champ.